ladies and gentlemen, Joey Steven again here and today we are going to talk about parents and grandparents, Canadian citizens and permanent residents who wish to sponsor their parents and grandparents to come to Canada can now apply through an expression of interest to sponsor form. This form is available on the IRCC website until November the 3rd. Those of you who are interested to sponsor, this is the first step you need to do, do. The questions are straightforward, but you need to qualify. I will try and explain the qualification factors shortly. I used to have a free info session at the Kitchener Public Library and the Toronto Public Library almost every year, but this year the pandemic does not allow us to have such a program. Please keep in mind the following. Number one, the interest to sponsor form is not an application. So if you are filling up that form, it is not an application, it is just an interest. It is only an expression of interest, just like what you do in the express entry, where you express interest for permanent residence, and that is not considered an application. You must be eligible to sponsor. Okay, and here is the eligibility criteria. You must be at least 18 years of age. You must live in Canada. You must be a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident of Canada. And you must have enough money which you must demonstrate uh, as well as have enough money to support the people you want to sponsor. This is an important component and family income may be demonstrated through LICO, L-I-C-O, lower income cutoff. The third point is you cannot submit more than one form for an applicant. They are not picking applicants, they are actually picking sponsors. That means you are going to be picked and then you um, have to provide that information. Once you submit a form, you will receive a confirmation number by email, which you will have to preserve carefully. Now, once this is done, IRCC will randomly select sponsors, not applicants, and will invite the sponsors to apply. Okay, let us look at the financial requirement for sponsoring your parents and grandparents, because that is going to be a very critical factor. The government is following the LICO, lower income cutoff requirements, plus 30%. So if you look at the LICO chart, you must add 30%. And they are looking at that income for the last three years. And the 30%, the additional 30% is waived for the 2020 tax return, just because of the pandemic. So 2020, you can have the same LICO amount, lower income cutoff group amount, but for 2019 and 2018, you must have LICO plus 30%. These applications are processed in early 2021. Even though you're going to be applying this year, it is going to be processed in early 2021. Therefore, your 2020 income tax is going to be assessed. If you do not have T4s or if you do not have notice of assessments by the time they start assessing, um, processing the documents, then you may provide some proof of income like salary slips, etc. You may also allow the immigration department to access your CRA account to obtain these de details. Now, this chart is going is what will be your financial requirement for the sponsorship the number of people includes the number of people you are going to be sponsoring if you are single and applying to sponsor one of your parent then you are going to be responsible for yourself and one parent that is two people lico calculations are based on the number of people in the household including the sponsored individuals. If you are going, doing it yourself, please search for parents and grandparents on the IRCC website. 
I have also provided a link below and please follow those instructions. It will be a good do-it-yourself project to complete during your COVID restrictions period. Those of you who are very busy and are seeking assistance, you may use any immigration consultant or contact my office by sending an email to support at pollensis.ca or call toll free 1-888-553-4833. We have five locations in Canada, including Halifax, Toronto, Mississauga, Hamilton, and Vancouver. And we have 11 locations in India, which includes Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai, Kochi, Kotayam, Trivandrum, Trishur, Calicut. We do not have any agents. All our offices are owned and operated by the Canadian Corporation. That's pretty much it for now from all of us here at the Pollensis Studios in beautiful Cambridge. Adios.